Hello, my name is Dr. Simon Dunby, and I'm a research fellow at the University of Sheffield. I work within the Sheffield Dermatology Research Unit, and we've just released this new publication. It's published in the British Journal of Dermatology, and it's enhancement of stratum corneum lipid structure, improves skin barrier function, and protects against irritation in adults with dry, eczema-prone skin. So why did we do this research? Well, we know that the skin acts as a very effective barrier to the outside environment. And a key reason for this is the lipid lamellae. This is a collection of lipids that fills the extracellular space in the outer layer of the skin. These lipids provide waterproofing. They stop water leaving our body and prevent irritants getting in. Unfortunately, in people with eczema, people with very dry skin, the lipid lamellae is very different. There are different levels of lipids, particularly reduced levels of key ceramides. And there's also a very different arrangement of these lipids. They form a looser arrangement, which is leaky. It allows water to escape through the skin and leaves us at risk of irritation. So we wanted to conduct an experiment to find out whether the topical supplementation of the skin with these key lipids could help correct this defect and improve the health of the skin. So we conducted a human cohort study and asked the participants to use two different creams, one with these key lipids and one without. And we assessed the effect of the treatment. We did this using multiple different techniques, but also by looking at the molecular structure of the skin. What we found is at the end of treatment, the structure of the lipids in the stratum corneum was enhanced, and this led to general improvements in the condition of the skin. The skin was more effectively moisturized, there was less dryness, and the skin was less susceptible to irritation with the irritant sodium lauryl sulfate. This has significant implications for the long-term management of atopic dermatitis or eczema, which is triggered by irritants like sodium lauryl sulfate. So before I finish, I'd just like to acknowledge the whole team at Sheffield. I'd also like to thank our volunteers for taking part in the research study and for L'Oreal who sponsored the study and of course, who manufactured the test cream. Thank you.